Today, I am going to teach you the top three exit strategies that every investor needs to know about when getting into real estate investing. So don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Thanks for joining me. My name is Kurt Davis with Real Estate Wealth Coaching and today I'm gonna to go over the top three exit strategies that you need to know about so that you can maximize your time and efforts to make a profit in real estate. Also, if you would click that subscribe button for me in the lower right hand corner and make sure to stay until the end and let me know in the comment section below what exit strategy you think seems to be best for you. Okay. The first exit strategy is called wholesale. Now, most new investors get started in wholesaling because it can be done with very little money needed to get started. So basically, what happens is that you, the investor, will find a property for sale. Most likely, it's gonna be an off-market home in need of some repairs, and you will put that home under contract, and then you will assign that contract to a cash buyer at a higher price than what you have it contracted for. This is called the assignment fee. Now, in today's market, many companies that flip homes as their business get a lot of their properties directly from wholesalers because there is really just too much competition for homes that are listed on the MLS, which is the multiple listing service. Now, the second exit strategy is called fix and flip. So for this strategy, rather than wholesale it to a cash buyer, you will close on the purchase of the property and renovate that home and then list it for sale. Now, there is a little more that goes into this process as you will need a private lender if you do not have the funds to purchase and renovate it yourself. You will need a contractor to renovate the home and a realtor if you are going to list it on the open market or the MLS. You then hope it sells quickly because you also have holding costs which will really eat into your profit margin. Now, there's also a lot more risk with the strategy, but in cases, uh, it also has a larger potential for a reward. Now, it's not uncommon to make 15 to 25,000 on average. The profit could be a lot more when dealing in higher priced range homes as well. And the third strategy is called the buy and hold strategy. Now, this is more of a long-term wealth building strategy because you're, you're going to keep the home long-term and rent out the home to renters. Now, for this to work, you need to be able to get approved with a conventional lender for the long-term financing. Ultimately, this strategy is also called the BRRRR strategy, which stands for buy, renovate, rent, refinance and repeat. Basically, you close on the purchase of the home and you renovate it with the private loan you got from the private lender. You then renovate the home and then you take and then your takeout lender will refinance you out of that private loan into a 30-year conventional loan. Now, this to me is the hardest strategy for most because when you wholesale or fix and flip, you are selling the home and making a good profit instantly, but when you decide to keep the home as a rental, you pass on that immediate profit. The buy and hold strategy is a long-term wealth building strategy. The renters are paying your mortgage and reducing the principal loan amount, which ultimately increases your net worth. Now, there are tax advantages and monthly positive cash flow that you're gonna get as well. Uh, making the instant profits is really nice, but owning a good sized portfolio of long-term rentals will prove to be the best exit strategy long-term in my opinion. Now, if you liked this video, make sure to click that like button and in the comment section below, let me know what you got out of this video. Now, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.